What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have a really, really special video for you guys. So we actually just played in what's called the Forge League. Now to give a quick rundown on what the Forge League is, is it's the biggest to date online tournament for Brawl Stars. The grand prize is $10,000, and there's eight pro teams as well as eight streamer teams. Now every single player outside of potentially the eight streamers are really, really high leveled, high trophy Brawl Stars players who've played in a lot of competitive events. And we just played our group today. So we had the two streamer teams as well as Nova Esports, who's one of the biggest teams inside of Brawl Stars. And we actually won every single game 3-0 to end off 9 to nothing. We were the only undefeated team so far in the entire tournament. So that's super cool. And I just want to show you guys the game against Nova Esports. We played three games against them, and I really just wanted to show you guys the high quality, high skill level games that we have. So without further ado, let's get into the games and let's kick off with the gem grab one. My team of Team Liquid is going to consist of Jack, Sly, Feli, myself, and Brayden. Brayden's going to be playing in the next game. I'm going to be going Pam Lane. Now, why am I going Pam Lane on this map? Because nothing counters it. In pro games, there's a lot of things, there's a lot to do with countering and stuff like that right here. Like, you just can't counter Pam. So you can see Portal made a really good play, which I've actually never seen, where he went straight for the mid and he didn't even go for me. Now, this is really good on him. At this point, I'm kind of lagging a little bit, but I do have lane control now. Now... Eric is a zero cupped G. Now he has played a few games in friendlies. He got him like two hours or an hour before the uh, the game started, so that's unreal. Now Feli's gonna miss his super and he's gonna back up as Eric's gonna have mid control. But it looks like myself and Jack are currently winning the lanes. You can see Shadow hiding in the bushes over there. Good chips over there. I was able to kill Portal and we were able to get them really low. Shadow's gonna single suck Feli, which I wouldn't have done since it was only one shot. You need to hit 14 cards to get your super back and he only hit four right there, so nothing too huge. Jack's going to have Bear, so he's really going to be able to back up Shadow. And I'm going to be facing Portal over here. Now, I just I just lag out completely. Like, this this is the most unfortunate thing. I was so pissed off at this moment. Because I just completely 100% lagged out. Portal went right up to me, killed me, took a jam. And at this point, I'm just freaking out because I thought the game was over. You're going to see Jack doing a really good job on Nita. Jack's one of the best Nitas of all time. So this is super crazy to have him on our team. It's a really big advantage. Now we're going to be going back to the lane. We're back over here. Jack's going to be able to kill Eric. And you can see, I mean, Jack's going to be able to kill Shadow. You can see Eric's kind of just chilling in the middle. And you can see me and Feli going for Portal. So Feli's backing off. Eric's getting a bit too comfortable. And then, bam, Feli's going to hit him with that pull. Bring him right towards me. And we're just going to finish him off as quick as possible. Shadow solo sucked. Went for the solo suck on Jack. Not really sure why he wasted a suck on that. But he did get it back. Now Jack, really good play here to kill Shadow. We thought the game was over, so we're just chilling. Jack starts to spin, Feli gets pulled, he's just gonna spin, and then bam, he dies. And I'm, I'm just like, what's going on? Like, I'm screaming in the voice chat, and then you see Jack just going up, and th this part is just insane. You see Jack kind of behind the bear. Everyone thought the game was over at this point, and then Jack's just gonna come out with his own bear, and basically solely just pinch them into their spawn. Jack went all out over here. He puts a bear right in front of him to block the shots. You're going to see us take out the entire team. And Jack honestly just carried so ridiculously hard over here at the end. Even though they kind of threw with the BM, Jack, Jack's like, I'm not having any of that. And he just went back up and carried. They almost could have tied it over here if they got that gem in one spawn. But they didn't have enough time. And that's basically it. The game's going to be over right there. That's the first gem grab game. GG's to them. That one was the closest one out of the three. But let's get into the second game, which was Heist. And this one was a super, super interesting one. Let's get into it. So here we go. Now, they're, we're going to be running double tank and Jesse. Now, they banned Brock. We usually go double tank and Brock. And when I saw the comp, I actually thought that they out comped us because they had a thrower and we did not. Over here, they're leaving the mid kind of open. So I told Jack and Brayden just to go to the mid. And I have to deal with two tanks alone as a little Jesse. Now, instead of just running around and spamming auto in, what I did is I made sure to target Portal so that I can get Portal down. I was able to kill Portal. I'm going to go for Super Sai over here. And for a Raged Bull and a Primo, to only allow them to do 47% is insane. Now, Brayden and Jack are obviously going to do good work because all they had was a Barley. I went up and I basically charged my super and got it to 7%. Now, this is where they have a lot of the momentum. You know, they're covering mid, except this is kind of, this isn't a control comp. This is kind of just go for it. This is where I think the biggest mistake was. Portal just went right for the safe, so it became a three on two. We just walked right up. Super Sai went in. We rushed. Chepo ran for the safe. Brayden charged in. I took a shot, and that's going to be it. This was an 8% to 0 game. This game ended in 53 seconds. It was one of the most intense games I've ever played, one of the closest played games I've ever played in such a high 
quality competitive setting, but we ended up getting star player, we ended up getting the dub, and we're gonna go to the last game that we played, the Siege game, in which I had a lot of fun in, I loved, and let's get right into it. So we're gonna be going Brock, Nita, Pam against their Penny, Nita, Pam. Now we knew that they were gonna run this comp because we've seen them run it, run it a lot previously and Brock does get countered by it but Brock is so ridiculously good on offense that we just had to run it. Now, I knew Shadow was in the bush so I didn't know where so I just took a quick shot. I don't really know why Shadow went up there. I missed my shot because we had so much delay throughout the entirety of this tournament but you know we just did whatever. Um, we weren't able to hit him but we were able to get two of the gem or uh, two of the bolts. We're going to be tapping Shadow over there. We don't want to let Shadow get away with the power up so we're gonna be able to kill him. I did waste my super over there. So you wanna do with Brock super is break this wall right over there in front of the Ike so that the robot can just go straight for it. Now we're just gonna be basically charging our super over here. The goal is to charge it before the, the before the siege bot actually comes up. We're gonna go put really aggressive. We're gonna get that, um, we're gonna get that bull and we're gonna use the explosive damage and hit the wall to kill Shadow Jitsu which is eventually going to give us our super. Now we're walking up. They do have a really good defensive comp, so it's tough for us to do a lot of damage straight away. We're going to super the wall and leave a hole for the uh, for the siege bot to go through. Feli's damage got negated, uh, got taken away because of the fact that Shadow dropped the bear. I didn't move too close to Shadow over there, so I am going to be taken out. But Feli's going to do a good job getting the kill, as well as Jack putting down the bear, which is going to let him escape out of there successfully. You're going to see Feli doing a really good job holding mid. I can't stress enough how good of a Pam fell he is and how good of a Nita Jack is. Like It's uh, it's remarkable to have these teammates and know that you can 100% count on them. You're going to see For Portal dying to the fire over there. I don't really know why he went back into the fire. We're just going to super this uh, this turret over here because it's a huge distraction for us. He's going to switch sides with it, but we have the right side wide open over here. You're going to see Portal doing trying to come in and do some work, but at this point we know we got the next Siege bot. We know we have an open wall already and only 55% left, so we're really, really confident. We're getting right here. This was this was pretty bad. I whiffed like five straight shots on Korai. I don't know how I'm whiffing. Like you, you can't be doing that in a competitive setting. I started to spin because I know that I'm missing all those shots. Missed another one. Good good plays by Corey over there to not get hit. So I'm just like screw it. I'll hit a bear once, get my confidence back, and then just start shooting the uh, the safe in portal. So we're going for the safe. At this point, I started backing out because I didn't think we'd have enough to kill it. But Jack was gonna throw a bear, so it's gonna distract. We're gonna do a lot of damage. It's gonna be. 398 the fire is going to take it down but it's going to be short one tick of the fire so it's at 98 health it's at one percent we're like okay i'm going to go sneak on the left side but right out of the corner of his eye i think shadow was able to see us so me and Feli started to pinch shadow we were able to kill shadow Feli is going to do an op play jump to the mid put the turret right in front of him walk in and kill that ike so that's going to be our games against nova esports competitive team the their uh, mobile athletes but, uh, but yeah, that's a 3-0 sweep. We're going to be moving on to the quarterfinals and going against PSG Esports, which I'm going to make sure I get that video out for you guys to show that competitive gameplay because this is something that I really wanted to do since I made the channel. And I really haven't gotten the opportunity to play in too many competitive games as of yet, but I'm super excited that I'm getting back into it, getting back into destroying teams as always. And yeah, that's about it for now. So if you guys really enjoy this competitive game, so I'm going to make sure I join every single tournament possible face all the big names and get it out for you guys. Without further ado, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the style of video. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and let me know in the comments if you didn't what you guys want to see. But for now, that's it for today. Peace.